Eric Backer, The Naturopath from New Zealand. Thank you for coming back. This question here is interesting. What is the average amount of time it takes to get rid of a candida problem? Is it different for everybody? It's totally different for everybody. And there are lots of reasons why, all right? One of the main reasons why it depends on you as a person. It's no different from how long does it take for someone uh, to make money? How long does it take for someone uh, to get an education? How long does it take someone to do anything? It depends on the motivation. It depends on the drive. It depends on the reasons. It depends on what's in it for me. All right? So if really good health is what you desire um, and you work towards a point where you know, you know uh, the protocols are working for you, uh, it doesn't have to take long at all. I've seen many people recover from candida in a six to 12 month period. Many people, and we're talking thousands of people. Now, that's not the exception. That's the norm for uh, very, very motivated people who've had enough you know, of door slamming in their faces when they go to doctors. These are people that just wanted to get better and they would do anything it takes to get better. Now, you may say, I'm like that, I'm like that. But are you really like that? Likely not, all right? Especially I find for the male patients, they're just not motivated enough. So men tend to you know, get their health on track in direct proportion to how much pain they experience. With women, it's a little bit different. They tend to talk more than guys. They tend to talk to girlfriends. They get on the phone, la, 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 la. And of course, the girlfriend will say, look, you've got to go to the doctor. You've got to get this fixed up. And the guy ain't going to do that. He's just going to have another beer and say, oh, no, it's all okay. Yep, I'm bleeding a little bit from the backside or here and there, but I'll be good to go, you know. And, okay? And that could take years and years and years to get better. So it depends on you as a person. It depends on the reasons why you want to get better. All right? Also depends on your age. Depends on your education. Depends on how much money you have got. Depends on a lot of factors. So the average time, if I had to put it for the average person, I would say 12 months to 18 months. But it's impossible to say I've had many patients also who responded much more slowly, and some people took two, three, four years. Especially people with, um, you know, high, excuse me, high-powered, responsible jobs or large families or big businesses or organisations they are in charge of, they couldn't really take time out. So, just because you've got money and responsibility, it doesn't mean to say you can just take six months and go to the Maldives or something while you recover. All right, so. Think about a single mom with two kids on her own, working, trying to make ends meet. It could take years for her to get better. Think about the same lady in a really loving, supportive relationship with a partner, uh, you know, and everything's working for them. It may take half the time. Think about a guy who's trying to nurse a sick mother who's got Alzheimer's disease or dementia, and you know, she's in a home. It could take that guy a long time because he's under stress. And then you think of somebody else, it might take quarter of the time. So your life and what happens in it and what you eat will govern your recovery time. So that's why it's impossible to say it's exactly this amount of days or months, okay? Because we're humans, we're not motor vehicles. It's not a matter of booking us into a clinic and then getting rid of candida, like taking out an engine and putting new whatever in the engine. It doesn't work like that. People actually feel and they think Cars don't usually think a lot, do they? It'd be good if they did, though. So, I would say 12 months, 18 months, if I had to, if someone held a gun to my head, I'd say 12 to 18 months. But I think more realistically, we're looking at two years for someone who's been chronically sick for five to 10 years. It could take two years. But some people respond in six months. Are they recovered in six months? Likely not. But usually they got such a shock when they were sick that they tightened things up and they recovered, okay? But that full recovery to like really good health could take an extra six to 12 months. And that's what I call the danger period, all right? I often talk on this channel about the window opening up and the window closing. So the window opening up, allowing you to see the sun and the fresh air, that's you being asymptomatic or having no symptoms. Now that window opening may last a day and then it could slam shut on you. It could open for a week. But as your recovery you know, keeps going, the window stays open for longer and longer. 
and then that's the danger period because that's the time when you think the window will always stay open but then one day you go to a wedding the window shuts because you had way too much to drink or too much pie or cake or whatever you ate and then you woke up a day later and you felt terrible okay the window stayed shut for several days and it slowly opened again all right so it depends on you it depends on how you see that window through what lenses you see it if you get what I'm trying to you know explain so yeah once you recover it's exciting but full recovery needs you to understand what operates the window all right thanks for tuning in